Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Continental receives STCs for Cessna 172 diesel retrofits. John Glenn buried at Arlington National Cemetery. King Schools releases free basic med course for pilots. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's April 10th and this is Airborne Unlimited. The FAA and EASA have awarded STC authorization to Continental Motors for the Cessna 172 family of aircraft powered by the jet fuel diesel engine CD-155. The certification now includes the integration of the Garmin G1000. The European STC allows the retrofit of Avgas engine-equipped C-172 to Continental Motors diesel power plants. To display engine data in the avionics system for the models 172 R and S, the integration of Garmin G1000 NAV3 avionic with WAS is required. Previous G1000 installations and aircraft models continue to use the CED and AED engine displays. The retrofit kit includes a larger propeller outperforming conventional equipment in climb as well as cruise as well as G1000 integration. The engines come with a lifetime of 2100 hours and long maintenance intervals. Powered by the Continental Motors CD-155 diesel engine and an MTV 6A190 prop, the Cessna 172 cruises at a maximum speed of 135 knots true airspeed at 8,000 feet. Best economy cruise at the altitude is 109 knots true airspeed, while burning only 4.9 gallons per hour of Jet A fuel versus 8.1 gallons per hour with a traditional Avgas engine powered version of the aircraft. Maximum rate of climb is 833 feet per minute. John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth and former Ohio Senator, was buried Thursday in a private ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. Glenn passed away on December 8th at the age of 95. He had been honored in his home state with a procession through downtown Columbus, Ohio. Some 2,500 people attended his memorial service. Glenn lay and reposed in the Ohio State House, where thousands of visitors came to pay their respects. While Thursday's ceremony was closed to the public and the media, a portion was streamed live on the internet by the military. Glenn's flag-draped casket was covered in a plastic sheet to protect it from a steady rain. The Marine Times reports that the service was preceded over by Marine Corps Commandant General Robert Neller. When Neller presented Glenn's widow, Annie, with a folded flag, she reportedly kissed him on the cheek. Some 175 Marines took part in the ceremony. Neller said that he felt completely humbled and honored to represent the Marine Corps as we lay to rest an American hero, a loving father and husband, a Marine. After the break, King Schools offers a free basic med online course. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, the new AMA drone report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Pilots have a new free option to help them navigate the FAA basic med rules that go into effect on May 1, 2017. The interactive video course clarifies and simplifies the new basic med regulations. 
as well as reviewing the rules related to flying with each class of medical certificate. Those who take this course will learn if they qualify to use basic med and what they must do to stay legal. John King explained there are a lot of nuances to basic med and many people will have questions. It is a victory for the aviation organizations like AOPA and EAA that press so hard for it. And for all pilots that have found FAA medical certification an intimidating and frustrating process. That's why we created our free course. The course was released to the public on March 30th, and in only the first five days, we had 928 enrollments and 123 positive reviews, said Martha King. The response to the free course shows that there is a tremendous amount of interest in the information. We sincerely hope that these new medical options will bring people back to flying. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. You can't beat a surprise low pass by a fighter jet, especially when it's a beach pass by a United States Navy Blue Angel. Search Blue Angel Sneak Attack Pensacola Beach 7-11-15 on YouTube. After these messages, Avidyne gets another EASA certification. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. He also has certified Avidyne Release 10.2 software for their IFD 540 and IFD 440 FMS GPS NAVCOM systems. R10.2 provides new features for new and existing IFD 540 and IFD 440 owners, including synthetic vision and two-way wireless connectivity with Avidyne's new IFD 100 iPad app. Avidyne has also received approval for their new IFD 510 and IFD 410 FMS GPS-only systems. Boeing Business Jets and the Government of Poland announced an order for three next-generation 737s at a signing ceremony held in Warsaw. The order includes two new BBJ-2 airplanes and one 737-800, which will be operated by the Government of Poland as a head-of-state aircraft. This May, participating skydiving centers around the country are offering first-timers the chance to learn how to skydive for free. The United States Parachute Association has proclaimed May as Learn to Skydive Month. Each year, more than half a million people enjoy the life-changing experience of jumping out of an airplane for the first time. Jet Support BV has opened a remote station at Lelystad Airport. The hangar facility with associated workshops and lounge will support the activities of jet support. The Council of State recently approved the growth of the airport, extending the runway to 8,800 feet by 150 feet, making it suitable for larger aircraft. NASA's Cassini spacecraft in orbit around Saturn since 2004 is about to begin the final chapter of its remarkable story. On Wednesday, April 26, the spacecraft will make the first in a series of dives through the 1,500-mile-wide gap between Saturn and its rings as part of the mission's grand finale. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. TKM Avionics has developed a direct slide-in replacement for King KX-155-165 series of NAVCOM radios. The company expects to begin deliveries of the owner-installable replacement units this summer.
Ken Beckmeyer, TKM's President and Chief Executive Officer, noted, quote, These 8.33 kHz EASA compliant radios are compatible with both 14 or 28 volt aircraft and are direct plug-and-play replacements that are affordable and simple to install and use. The newest addition to TKM Avionics line of upgraded retrofit radios features active standby flip-flop high-visibility alphanumeric touchpoint displays and high-sensitivity tuner with improved output quality. Designed specifically to be owner-installable, it will fit and interface with existing equipment in the panel. It's also intuitive to operate and makes adjusting volume, squelch, and display brightness simple and efficient. It's equipped with a master volume knob, but the nav and comm volumes can also be adjusted separately. Frequency memory with user-defined channel codes for both nav and comm, automatic and manual brightness controls and graph displays for volume digital squelch, brightness, and transmit level adjustments will also reduce the pilot's workload. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.